A river in darkness, one man's escape from North Korea, is a powerful memoir by Masaji Ishikawa, a man who was born in Japan to a Japanese mother and a Korean father but raised in North Korea. The book details his experiences living in the country under the oppressive regime of Kim Il-sung and later, his escape to Japan. The memoir is divided into three parts, each detailing a different phase of Ishikawa's life. The first part describes his childhood and adolescence in North Korea. Ishikawa's father, who was originally from South Korea, was forced to move to North Korea during the Japanese occupation. Ishikawa's mother, a Japanese citizen, followed him to North Korea, where they were married and had children. Ishikawa describes growing up in poverty and enduring constant hunger, as well as the brutal treatment of his father by the government. The second part of the book covers Ishikawa's adulthood, during which he worked as a laborer in North Korea's mines. He describes the horrific conditions under which he and his colleagues worked, including long hours and constant danger. Despite his hard work, Ishikawa was never able to improve his circumstances, as the government controlled every aspect of his life. In the third part of the book, Ishikawa recounts his escape from North Korea. After years of living in constant fear and deprivation, he finally decides to flee the country with his family. The journey is perilous, with many close calls and moments of uncertainty. However, Ishikawa perseveres and ultimately makes it to Japan, where he is able to start a new life. Throughout the book, Ishikawa's writing is poignant and evocative. He captures the desperation and hopelessness of life in North Korea, as well as the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. His descriptions of the physical and emotional toll of life in the mines are particularly vivid and disturbing. He also provides a unique perspective on the complex relationship between North Korea, Japan, and South Korea, as someone who has lived in all three countries. One of the most striking aspects of the book is the way in which Ishikawa portrays the North Korean government. He depicts it as a cruel and indifferent entity that cares nothing for the well-being of its citizens. The government is responsible for the widespread poverty and hunger in the country, as well as the brutal treatment of dissenters. Ishikawa's descriptions of the government's surveillance tactics and propaganda are particularly chilling, as they illustrate the complete control the regime has over its people. Another notable aspect of the book is the way in which Ishikawa explores his own identity. As a biracial person raised in North Korea, he is never fully accepted by any of the countries in which he lives. He struggles with feelings of alienation and displacement, as well as the realization that his family's history has been shaped by colonialism and political strife. However, he ultimately finds a sense of belonging and purpose in his new life in Japan. In conclusion, A River in Darkness, One Man's Escape from North Korea, is a powerful and deeply affecting memoir that offers a rare glimpse into life under one of the world's most repressive regimes. Ishikawa's writing is both raw and eloquent, and his story is one of resilience, perseverance, and hope in the face of unimaginable hardship. It is a must-read for anyone interested in understanding the human cost of authoritarianism and the power of the human spirit to overcome it.